Hello everybody, Gaft is back with the explanation to the reanimator. You are going to have to build something. So I'm just going to show you a quick look at what you're going to need. You will need a duplicate card, whatever that's going to be. One of these duplicates, you're going to rip a corner off and then you're going to peel Start to peel the back of a card off. Now I've done a Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier sort of thing. You're going to peel this off just enough that the bit you've torn off from the one duplicate you can stick in here and then stick all this back down. So I'm quickly going to stick this back down. Oh, get a bit of glue would help. So you're going to stick this back down. I'm not going to put any glue where the, the actual um, corner is obviously take more time over this glue all this down make a nice tidy job of it now the beauty of this is because you're only peeling a bit of the card the card is perfectly aligned so all you've got to literally do is stick it back down now that looks well scruffy gaffer but this is just an explanation and then I would put this press this in a card press if you bought that from immortal playing cards and leave it for a few days or whenever just don't do it straight away leave it at least a day so you know the glue will set and go off now this is really quite scruffy but you get the idea make sure there's no little corners showing it's all stuck down and it looks like a tidy card now this looks really scruffy to me but it's going to work fine for this job so you've created your card the two of clubs with a card inside. You've got your piece of a torn off card. You're also going to need a top of the box gaff. Let's get rid of this. So how this is going to play out is you're going to have the eight of clubs with the torn corner that's hidden inside this card on the top of the deck, followed by the top of the box gaff, followed by your other duplicate eight of clubs, and this card is going to be somewhere somewhere near the middle of the deck. This is all going to go into your card box. And obviously you need a lighter. So if there are children watching and you want to perform this trick, make sure um, adults are present. So right, let me just show you something crazy. I just did a series of fake cuts. I didn't want to disturb the stacked order I've got, but I wanted to make it look like I cut the deck. And then because you've got this card here with a card piece in it, it creates like a natural break look. So you can easily cut to that um, gimmick card with your thumb. Right, we're just going to take a card out of the deck. Don't make any reference to any of this. Just quickly cut the card and say, look, we'll take out the two of clubs. Take the two of clubs out. Now this looks a bit umpy bumpy, but if you had to press this in the card press from Immortal Playing Cards, this would be nice and flat. From this side, it would look like a regular card. And if you spent a bit of time and stuck this down well, it would look like a regular card from this side. You're gonna take this two of clubs and you're gonna place it into the box. Do the box up and put the box face up in your way, basically. You want an excuse to move this box in a minute. So just place it on the table. You know it's going to be in your way in a minute. I gave the cards another fake cut. And so we're just going to use the top card, the Eight of Clubs. Now, I'm not going to destroy this Eight of Clubs um, this time round. You're going to get the idea. So you're going to take this card. Now you have got a gimmick card here and your face up eight. So just be careful not to flash it and just make reference to how you've ripped this card. It wants to look similar. So eagle eyed people will not notice. So we're just going to rip and make sure you rip the right corner. It's going to rip the corner of this card off. Right, you're going to place this on here. This will have a ripped corner, which will be on the table. You're now going to burn this piece. So right, we're just gonna move this out of the way a minute. In that process, you are dumping the card you have just ripped and replacing it with the one you ripped earlier. 
because the other bit is under the top of the box and it's hidden here. So that's why you have this box in your way, so it gives you an excuse to pick up the box. Now you guys know exactly how I work if you've been watching my channel. I love that gimmick. To you guys, it's like, yeah, gaffer's top of the box. But in the real world, to somebody that hasn't really seen you use the top of the box, you're moving the, the box. That's all you're doing. You can now go back to this card, um, or forget about this card for a minute. You're going to go to the piece you've cut off. Now, you're going to destroy this piece. You could, if you want, just eat it. It is quite hard eating playing cards, but if you want to go that, that route or burn it, you just need to destroy it because this is the reanimator. When that card is gone, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of the ash on the box or do any sort of magical gesture you like. And believe it or not, that card will have reanimated. Oh, for God's sake. But it hasn't, has it? Now, like I say, if you spend a bit of time, this will look like a regular, nice, flat playing card. Card press from Immortal Playing Cards, link in description. You are now going to go through the process of ripping this card. And at some point, ooh, you're going to rip in hidden inside of the layers of the card will be a piece of the eight of clubs, but we just burnt this piece, didn't we? But this is the reanimator, and the only way this could get reanimated is if this piece is a perfect match. So that is the reanimator by the Gaft Academy. Comment, subscribe, like, guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. This is just a bit of fun. You may never use it. It's just an idea. So comment, subscribe, like, guys, and uh, that's another card gone. Cheers. Immortal playing cards.